Well, hey there, Jessica here, and I am for a family coach. If you don't know me, I am a force-free, positive reinforcement uh, methods dog trainer. And in this live video, um, I wanted to come on and talk to you guys today. It's Friday evening, and um, I've actually just been out uh, during the day. My husband and I went to lunch, and then I went and picked up some donations for our local rescue. Um, actually the rescue that we adopted Kim from, but I wanted to come on live today and we're going to be talking a little bit about pack theory. And, um, I think probably most people have heard the term pack before. So in this video, that is what we are going to be talking about. Um, real quick, before we get going, I wanted to tell you I'm super, super excited, um, and I know my lighting probably, I'm, I'm going to try to get a little closer to the camera. I'm super excited because my new ebook is out and available to you right now. It's called The Seven Miracle Steps uh, to Training Your Dog, and you can get it here, bit.ly forward slash seven seven steps dog training. So just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Highly encourage everybody to get it. These are going to be the foundations of everything I base my dog training on with all of my private clients and with my online um, video training as well. So with that, let's get back to what this video is all about and that's pack theory. And the reason that I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about pack theory is because I had somebody contact me last night and it was really super upsetting because there are so many trainers, there's so many dog trainers out there who are still using old outdated methods and this happened to be um, a dog trainer in San Francisco who was baiting me basically they um subscribed to dominance theory i looked him up and based on everything they said to me i really wanted so badly to get through to them but it was just one of those kinds of people that doesn't matter what you say you know it's going to hurt their ego too much for them to be wrong so i tried but um basically you know telling me that <clears throat> dominance is is what you have to do and and that's um, everything that I'm doing is it isn't gonna work and I'm like no it does work because I've done it and there's science to prove it so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about pack theory and how uh, force free trainers see pack theory because there is a lot of science dispelling pack theory and dominance theory and yes I, I will use the term pack because really um, you know, it's a family unit in the wild, but here's where it all came from. So back in the seventies, there were a group of researchers. They took a bunch of wolves that didn't know each other from different areas, from different, um, um, packs <laughs> in the wild, a bunch of wolves and put them all into a zoo enclosure. And then they watched how they interacted. Now these wolves, first of all, they were wolves and not dogs. And yes, dogs have evolved from wolves, but it has been thousands of years. Um, so there are wolves that didn't know each other that were pulled from their family units and put into a zoo enclosure with each other. And so scientists watched them. And what they got from watching these wolves in um, this artificial environment, right, of, of a zoo being all thrown together, um, they developed pack theory back in the 70s which a lot of people also refer to dominance theory kind of came out of that. So any, any sort of dominance, any sort of um, aggression, I'm, I'm the alpha and I'm over you and you have to do what I say, or I'm going to, I'm physically going to make you do it. That kind of um, dominance theory. And that is for many, many years, how people train dogs. Well, we now know that all of that research um, is no good. So much so that um, the researchers themselves who, who did these studies, uh, did the study back in the 70s, have come out against um, their study saying it's all wrong. It was completely flawed. 
um, you know, these findings are, are, are useless. Don't use them. Um, and the reason we know that is because a number of years ago, oh, uh, we as a, a human race, uh, as a species, were fortunate enough to be able to watch from afar a wild dog pack. So they were um, a pack of dogs in the wild, untouched by humans. And now we know that they don't subscribe to this dominance theory. That's not how they live in the wild. And um, we know that they live as a family unit. So this is now how all of, uh, all of these now, you know, positive reinforcement and force free trainers have come about based on all of this new information. And I say new, but it's, you know, in the last 15, 15 or so years. So <clears throat> we now know dominance theory, and, and there are so many um, scientific studies now that have been published peer reviewed showing how positive reinforcement really affects behaviors in our dogs. Um, not just us, because that's how, that's the best way we learn as well, but also in our dogs. And by the way, in our cats too, they're just a little bit harder because they're not um, as, uh, uh, we, we haven't domesticated them as much as we have dogs. So positive reinforcement is really the best way that dogs learn and uh, learn new behaviors and learn to change and adjust behaviors is with positive reinforcement. So that's where force-free positive reinforcement dog training has really um, come into uh, the forefront in the past, you know, uh, 10 or so, 12 years. So um, it was really, really super unfortunate um, because I really hoped that, you know, this person even though he came at me initially aggressively and I knew in my heart that I wasn't going to be able to change his mind, I wanted to. I even sent him a link to a scientific research study um, because he, I say it's a he, I think it was a he because it was from a business profile, but um, you know, quite, they, they were questioning how I could possibly be using the scientific methods in as, as they were saying to train dogs. They had, so to me, right off the bat, I know that they have done absolutely no research. And really the bottom line is that if, if, if they grow and learn something new, that's too much of a blow to their ego. And those, those kinds of people are unfortunate and really what I feel horrible about are the dogs that are going to be affected by trainers like that. So that's really why, you know, I want to get this information out there. That's what I'm here for. Ask me questions because I want to get all of this information out as far, uh, you know, widespread as possible because we need to know as a population that dominance theory is um, not the right way to train dogs and that using positive reinforcement is going to be the best way to train dogs. So that's really how pack theory um, came about and how we have disproven it. It's not true. That's not how dogs really live in the wild. They are not dominance-based creatures. So that's really what I wanted to come on here and talk to you about. And really, if you think about it, that's also the best way for us to teach and raise our kids, right? Um, they're not going to effectively learn by us physically forcing them to do things and making them fear us. That isn't effective, right? Giving them choices, giving them um, realistic, letting them know what the outcomes are, giving them positive reinforcement and molding their behavior into how we want them to behave, what kind of people we want them to be, and giving them positive um, rewards for doing the things we want them to do. That really is how children learn. So as you, I mean, you see, it's, it's really the same thing. This is also how we need to be teaching our dogs. That's how I teach dogs. So it's also how I teach people how to teach their dogs because that's the best thing you can do. Be, because the reason I'm here is because I want, I want you guys, I want you and your dogs to have better lives. And I want you to coexist in a better way than you are now. And I want you two are a team, you and your dog, you're a team. And I want you both to be happier and have more positive existence. So um, guys, I that, just in summary, 
Pack theory, dominance theory has completely been debunked. It's not true. Dogs learn with positive reinforcement much better, much more effectively, much easier. So that's how we need to be training our dogs. And um, go ahead, if you have any comments or questions, please post them below. I am super interested to hear um, any questions you may have, whether it's on um, you know, potty training your dog, if it's, um, you know, separation anxiety, if it's, you know, biting, or you have a puppy that's, you know, biting and nipping, um, whatever you may have going on, please uh, leave your questions below. I'd be thrilled to make a, a video and help you help your dog. Um, and just one more time, because I am so excited about this new book um, I have out for you. It's an ebook. It's a, a fairly quick read, but really, really, really important read. It's the complete basis for everything I teach all of my private clients and how I train dogs. Um, really, go ahead and grab yourself a copy. Do yourself a favor. bit.ly forward slash seven steps dog training. If somebody could type that in to the comment section, um, that might be a little bit easier for you guys to just be able to click a link. Um, I can't really type it in. Thank you so much for typing that in. Um, so glad you guys are here. And don't forget, if you have any questions about dog training, dog behavior, um, post them in the comments below. Uh, anything that's going on with your dog, if you are having, even if it's nutritional, right? I'm thrilled to, to help you out with um, your dog's nutritional needs. I'm really, really into dog nutrition and making sure your dog is getting the absolute best nutrition they possibly can. And as a dog trainer, that's super important because it gives them the power, the brain power they need to be trained. So guys, one more time, seven miracle steps to train your dog bit.ly forward slash seven steps dog training. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to post your comments and your questions below. I'd be thrilled to make a video to answer your question for you and your dog. And uh, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. If you liked it, if you learned something, go ahead and share it. I would really appreciate that because the whole idea is to get this information out there and as widespread as possible. So the more you share it, the more people see it, the more uh, people understand that dominance theory is not the way to go. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video.